So I was originally going to react to Marcus Veltri, the broken finger video, the one where he's playing the piano on Amigo with a broken finger. And I was really excited to react to it, but I saw this, Pianist Goes to Amigo blindfolded, and I got pretty excited. <laughs> if blindfolded, playing the piano, I know it sounds impossible in a way, but it's all to do with muscle memory. It's all to do with if you already know how to play the piano, your fingers are the ones that already know where to go. You don't need to think about it. So yeah, it sounds like a crazy thing to do, but when you actually think about it, it's just practice and it's down to muscle memory. But still excited to watch it, still excited to see how he's playing, even though he's blindfolded, and most people's reactions on it. So let's check it out. How are you doing? How are you? I'm great. What well, do you want to hear? Uh, do you have any song requests that you want to hear on piano? Just like any song. Like just please play me any song. This song is literally Dude. called any song. How about that? Can I record you? She's so like engaged. She's like, just please any song. Please play any song for me. <laughs> sure, of course. That's I'm so really cute. excited for this. Okay. All right, let's do it. Okay, go. me with it like things like this is the fact that yeah if you was at home by yourself you could play it but it's not hard for you to make a mistake it's not hard for your finger to slip you just miss the timing and you do the little run up too too late or something like that and so having it done on a meagle where everyone's gonna see it live and you can't change if you make a mistake they're still gonna see it that's terrifying to me. That is so scary because I, yeah, sometimes when I'm playing piano, I'll have the confidence that, I do, that I'll do it well. But you can't help if your finger does just slip or you get a bit distracted. Before we hop into the rest of the video, I want to thank State of Survival for being today's sponsor. Yeah, but where's the blindfold? It literally says pianist goes on Omegle blindfolded. Confused? <laughs> State of Survival is a strategy mobile game where you fight zombies in a post-apocalyptic world. You are a survivor of the disaster that was ultimately caused by Gigacorp, a company who created a very deadly weapon that was a threat to humankind. It is now your mission to rebuild your community and save the world before it's too late. State of Survival is free to play at any time, anywhere. This game is super rewarding and addicting the second you start. There are a ton of in-game events. Honestly, I don't really watch this stuff. I usually skip it, but I remember the time that I got in trouble by you guys. I mean, by the Harry Mack fans out there that just didn't want me to skip his NordVPN advert so i'm not gonna make that i'm not gonna make that mistake again even if you care or not i'm just gonna watch it i'm just gonna watch it events that give you the opportunity to gain resourceful rewards that can be used to improve your settlement or to level up your heroes you can also join alliances and socialize with other people online it's important to focus on always improving your stats so you're prepared to fight the overwhelming number of zombies that are always trying to invade your base the storyline is very engaging and always full of surprises and hidden secrets making your choices and strategies even more crucial if you download State of Survival by using the link below, you'll have a chance of winning one out of 30 $50 Amazon gift cards. And if you're a new user, you can use my creator code MarcusSOS and you will redeem an in-game starter pack. 
which helps expedite building your settlements by giving you extra resources and allowing you to speed up the building process. Be sure to act fast because the packs are limited in quantity. Thank you again to State of Survival for sponsoring today's video. Okay, what's going on? What's up, man? How you doing? Good. Does he seem really humble to you? Like, yeah, Harry Mack is humble and he seems so, like, nice and kind-hearted, but there's something about his, like, vibe, Marcus's vibe that just gets me a little differently. It's very peaceful. It's very calm. I don't know if that's just because the piano's on in the background and it's soothing or if that's just genuinely his energy, but his energy is, like, really peaceful. It's really nice. Wait, you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah, I do. What is it? Well, how about how about you cross the song first? Lucid Dreams. How about Lucid Dreams? Yeah. Oh, he just knew it. You he just knows it. it. Yo! I'm gonna subscribe. You're so talented, bro. You're Thank so you so talented. much. Yeah, Lucid Dreams is like one of my favorite songs. Yes. Yo, play some beats for me. That's so funny. Lucid Dreams is one of his favorite songs from Juice. Could potentially be because it's the most famous, popular song from Juice. But yeah, that was still crazy. He mixed in robbery with it. And it's the fact that he's like, you guys tell me a song to do. And he can just do it. He don't need to listen to it. He doesn't need to like have them sheet music on. He'll just be like, oh. You want me to react to that? I'll do it. And he'll just go into doing it. That's crazy. I think something that takes him a little differently to everybody else is the fact that he beatboxes with it. The fact that he's not just playing the piano, he's not just making it classical, he'll add some beatboxing into it. He'll loop it up and he'll add some arpeggios and things like that. All right, all right what do you want to hear, bro? Uh, it's called, it's literally just called Let Her Go. Like the song, like the actual song is called Let Her Go. Here, how about, do you want to play it on your phone? I'll try to no, do one. it by ear. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. okay. Now I see what he's doing. This is the song where I had to mute. That's let it, let her go is the one where the um, well you only need the light when it's burning low. Only when the sun starts to snow. Only know you love her when you let her go. Yeah, it's that one. But the it's so that's another thing that shows like a talent in, in a in a in an artist the way that they can just listen to something by ear and just pick it up like that takes practice it's really you have to be really good with tone and pitch and you just have to know that okay so that goes a bit higher there that goes a bit lower there so then you can play on the instrument it's when you are more comfortable with the piano and you know which keys where and the fact he's doing it blindfold his muscle memory knows where the middle of the piano is and where to go from there and what sound it'll make so it's talented but it just looks so much crazier to see. I'm excited. I hope he gets it. On your phone, and I'll try to do it by ear blindfold. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, I got you. He's got it. Oh, yo! I actually did put, I actually recorded myself playing the intro for this on my Instagram like a few years ago. If you want to check it out, it's just gonna save on Instagram. That is cute. <laughs> Yo, he's cracked. <laughs> he did that by ear. So basically, I cannot say I'm as talented as him in any single way at all. I'm really good at picking up something with my right hand. I could listen to it and I'll pick it up instantly. But doing like broken chords with my left hand whilst playing for me, if just listening by ear, I find difficult because it's so much harder to w work out the chords to a song rather than just the melody. The melody is a lot easier too because that's what you can hear at the for, at the forefront of the song is the oh, no, 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 it's burning low. So you can work it out. Du, 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 du. Whereas the chords, not so much as easy. And so like the fact he's listened to it and he's still playing broken chords, not even just block chords. Talented. Oh my God, I love this guy. <laughs> Wow. 
Oh, oh bless him. He's you like, are, you are Mike. talented. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Yo, wait, talk to wait, 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 the fact that she just pushed her off the chair, like, get out of the way, I need to talk to him. <laughs> Could you play Bad Romance by Lady Gaga? Yes. How's that one go again? I, I definitely heard it. Oh. Yes. Wait, that's the girl right at the start, isn't it? I think so. Maybe she's giving him more requests. <laughs> Could you play that on the piano? Yes, of course you can. Romance, Gaga, ooh la la, went to your bad romance. Oh wow. cheeks are hurting so much i i just love instruments i just really love instruments i could listen to a piano forever and like i'm not a biggest fan of classical music which is really funny to say considering i play the piano myself and it's kind of linked to classical music but if you play any pop song any like rap song whatever on a piano to me i will just listen to you for years on repeat, I will just listen to you because I absolutely love pop songs, rap songs mixed in with like a piano. It's just that, I don't know, it's just something different about it. It's having that touch of classical mixed in with this rap idea and this pop idea. No fucking way. I got you. You've had to have practiced that before. No, I, I've heard that song, so. Um, oh I probably, maybe I've played it in the past, but. You're I don't know, so maybe I put it. <laughs> no, like seriously. I like that sounded just fucking like it. Oh, he's got a whole setup. Are you fucking professional? Yes. Uh, I, I hope so. I hope to look like I am. Well, let's let's hear it. Let's hear it. What you got for us? So what we're doing is I'm putting this song and then you guys pick a song for me to play. <laughs> Tonight. Yeah, sure, let's do it. <laughs> okay. No, oh wait, I'll rewind it. But the fact, so, so usually when I listen to something by ear and I'm playing it by ear, I will listen to it, I'll kind of work it out a little bit. Like, I'll press a couple of notes and things like that until I get it and then I'll start playing it. He don't even do that. He doesn't even, like, kind of listen to it, check it out, test it. He don't do any of it. He just says, yeah, okay, I've got it. Bomb starts playing straight away. Sure, let's do it. What? What? <laughs> No, bro, what the Wow, that's crazy. Hi. Can you play Happy Birthday? It's my birthday. Wait, really? Yes. Happy birthday. Oh. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm not gonna lie, I really wish he was my best mate. I really wish that I was just everywhere with him and if we're just in a mall and he sees a piano, I'll be like, yo, can you play that song? And he'll just go run and he'll just play it. I really wish I knew this guy because this is crazy. He just seems so like kind-hearted. I absolutely, he's my, he might be my new favorite person. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you, you were smiling and then you looked at me and your smile just like <laughs> faded away. What's up? 
Nothing much. <laughs> I do song requests and stuff. <gasps> really? Your setup is really cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. What type of music do you listen to? Uh, I listen to a lot of like Mac DeMarco, Wallows. <gasps> oh my God. Here. He's like, say no more. Say no more. Like Mac DeMarco, Wallows. <gasps> You're in now. <laughs> Did I just see her do a TikTok dance to it? She actually just went... <laughs> she just did a TikTok dance to it. <laughs> oh my god, period. That was so fast. That was so good. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're a YouTuber, right? Maybe. Oh, Maybe? man, I, I saw your video the other day. I was just like, okay, this guy's pretty good. Hell yeah, man. That oh my god, do what you cool. I'm playing. I'm playing Avatar's Love. Here we go. I'm not gonna lie, I originally closed my eyes to like kind of like just mess around and appreciate it, but I actually almost fell into that. I almost fell like asleep to that. That is so nice. You could hear it almost transferring from ear to ear. Oh wow, I could definitely listen to that in bed when I'm like trying to sleep and I can't. That was beautiful. Can you imagine if they did like a little duet really, like with his guitar and stuff? I'm nostalgic. It is, man. Yeah. I'll check out your channel some more because I think that's just like, I just, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Like you opened up a new door for me to like get into piano. The interest is always Aww. there, but that just like that's opened a, it up. Oh, that is such a nice feeling when like you can inspire somebody else to do something. That must be so such a nice feeling for Marcus, the fact that that guy said, just from hearing your music, hearing your talent, you have one. You have made me want to learn it. Like, that's so nice. Hi. Hi. Oopsie. Hello. How are you guys doing? Fine. Fine. What about you? I'm good. I'm taking some song requests blindfolded. If you guys want to do that. You know the uh, the team of Moving Castle, Paul's Moving Castle. barely anyone amazed by the fact that he's got a blindfold on why does no one care why does no one i feel like people expect so much from pianists like saying that it's a lot harder to do than you actually think it is and the way they're just like oh yeah can you play this song and they don't expect much of it like they expect you to know how to play it but it, that's not the case most like piano players can't just play the song right there and then they have to listen to it they have to like kind of go over it a little bit and some piano players might not be able to do that at all might not even be able to play by ear but people expect so much from it like at the amount of time someone said to me just play the song and i'm like gave me time to like learn it first <laughs> I really love that. What about 
Maybe, maybe it's her again. Yeah, I love this song. Uh huh. I'll give it a shot. Okay. Goosebumps. shivers going down my back that there's something about playing any song on the piano that just makes it so much more like inspirational and emotional in a way i remember so for my cousin's engagement i made a whole like piano playlist for her so we could put it on it could be very classy it was like a classy uh, do and i was just putting on like such pop songs like literally any song that you could imagine just as a piano version and even though it was just any song like i had rockstar by the baby in it but because it was a piano version it just sounded so like classy and just like emotional in a way it was so weird but yeah i really like the the magic behind the piano you literally are so talented but seriously you play it Everything's so fucking beautiful. Yeah. Hi. How are you doing? Doing good. Nice, nice. I'm taking some song requests blindfolded. Do you guys have a certain song you want to hear? Hey there, Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. What's it like in New York City? I'm subscribing. I'm subscribing. Oh, I wanna, t let me know if you guys wanna see, uh, let me know if you guys wanna see that one there. It said t playing piano to like TikTok memes or something. Let me know if you guys wanna see that one cause I I'll be excited to react to that. I am so happy right now. I am so happy from the bottom of my heart that... Where did that come from? How have I never heard of Marcus Veltri? How did I never listen to, to him soon? Oh my days. I'm so happy. That's it for today's reaction guys. If you liked it, please like that thumbs up button. The most talented person I've officially seen.